Hey, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about glasses. Yeah, these ones. So this is not, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. I'm just super happy that I found these things. And I'm not sure if you actually use glasses, but I just discovered this this year actually and I'm just completely amazed I didn't even know that these things existed not glasses but photochromatic glasses yeah so these are regular glasses but the glass contains a, a filter there's some kind of a material uh, that actually reacts chemically to sunlight to UV light and so whenever I'm outside and the sun is bright then um, these actually dim down i i'm standing in the shade right now so i don't think you can really tell but actually i think you can you can see that they are sort of tinted in a way and so uh it's amazing so basically you don't need sunglasses now this is not as tinted as they get they actually can get a lot more tinted if i stand in like direct sunlight it actually takes a couple of minutes for them to adjust but they basically adapt to the light outside is that some high tech or what? <laughs> anyway, it's funny to me because I actually didn't know that these things existed and they've been around for years and years apparently. And I recently got them and when I'm indoors, they're like completely transparent. You can't see any kind of tint at all. And um, that's just remarkable technology to me. So I do have sunglasses with my eye specific optics, so to speak. And I really only use them when it's like really, really sunny outside. But normally on a regular day, I use these and these work just amazingly. And I'm gonna show you a test in the end of this video. I'm gonna like set them on a timer and show you how fast it goes from completely transparent to completely dim. So I'm guessing you look forward to that, right? <laughs> And so you may know, or you may not know. And so I wanted to share that with you because I think it's amazing. I've been using glasses for about five years now and I never knew that they existed. So I figured that if I didn't know about it, maybe you wear glasses and you didn't know about it. It would be fun to know if you knew about these things, put them down in the comment section below. It would be really interesting to see how many people knew that these type of glasses existed. So again, they're called photochromatic glasses. At least, at least that's how it translates from Swedish to English. Uh, but I'm sure you can find them in your country, wherever you are. Now, you might be wondering, well, why am I messing around with glasses? Like there is laser surgery. Why don't I just get that? Well, I think I could actually. And that was actually my plan this year. I was going to get F Lasix surgery but then i did something i checked something and i just didn't like it so i've done a lot of research on lasix and it's remarkably safe if you're afraid to do it like really you shouldn't be like most people think that you can go blind i mean it's a laser shooting into your eyeballs uh, and i did some checking on statistic it has never happened that the laser itself will burn your eyeballs out. No, the most common problems that people have had are like infections and stuff like that, where sometimes the operation doesn't correct the way they want it to, but then they can just fix it again with a laser. But okay, so the reason why I didn't get laser surgery for my eyes is because I was a bit nervous about the surgery itself. And then I searched on YouTube. I was looking for the eye surgery itself. I wanted to see the procedure, you know, to calm my nerves. Unfortunately, it had the complete reverse effect. You see, it wasn't the laser that bothered me. It was something else. So most people don't know this, but our eyeballs, they have this little thin transparent layer. And in order to shoot laser into the eye, they actually have to cut open that thin layer and peel it up and then they can fire the laser. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna let some someone use a scalpel on my eyeballs. And again, I know it's very safe, statistically speaking, but the idea of someone cutting in my eyeballs, that scared me more than the laser. And so I checked, there was a better operation, a more advanced procedure. And I was like, okay, well show me that. And I looked at the video. Well, the only difference was really that instead of using a scalpel, they use like a small guillotine to like snip out that layer. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> so so I was like, no, I guess I'm not getting eye surgery. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, I did have this uh, video a couple of days ago where I shared my biggest fears. And as I get older, I think that 
I become a more rational person and maybe I'll overcome this fear. I really hope so. I'm not a real big fan of glasses. I didn't have them like five years ago. So maybe I'm still just adjusting, but it's, it's a hassle most of the time. I've gotten used to it and it's okay. If I spend the rest of my days wearing glasses, I'll, I'll be fine. But if there is a quick fix for it, then obviously I wanna have it. And I know some of you might have had laser eye surgery and you're gonna say that it's super safe. That was the best decision you ever made. I have friends who did it, who say basically the same thing. It's highly recommended. It's safe. It's just that, you know, the idea of someone cutting open my eyes, I just, uh, I don't like it. Now I know that make me sound like a pussycat, but that's the way I feel about it. And also there is also the fact that I do get older. You know, I'm in my forties and um, my eyesight is gonna deteriorate from reasons that have more to do with age than any kinds of um, defects that can be corrected with laser eye surgery. So it sort of makes me think, what's the point, you know? I'm still gonna have to use reading glasses in the future. I think most people have to use them, but I don't know. It would be fun to know your thoughts about this. Let, them know, let me know in the comment section below. And really, please let me know if you've heard of photochromatic glasses, because I think they're amazing. I use these all the time. Maybe I'll switch to regular in the winter, but honestly, I don't see any point because these work just great at all times. So I love these things. Okay, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care.